lots of really good life. There's so many places in America, we forget what a big country it is, and there's so much I need to come and go and visit. I love you too! Like Arkansas and Alabama and Mississippi. Those places not only do they have really beautiful architecture, but the food. Oh, here it is. I have my pink diamond flame bit, which I'll be using today. Antonio Cubino Wilson is here. We missed the story about the person that was calling us today. We had to tell her that she was calling the Department of Homeland Security by the like 15th time she called. Hi from Germany, guten tag. I want to go to Germany and go to a modern talking concert. That's one of my uh, bucket list. So I'm going to use the pink flame bit because it's so soft. Look at that. None of our bits can break the skin when used properly. And this is how I have my nose right now. Just really clean and glossy and I'm going to show you how I watch my phalange. How I snatch my phalange. Mabu hi from the Filipinas. So I like to take off, I would say about 80% of the old gel that I wear. And on this set, I just had clear press-on gel and milky pink shiny. And you can see my nails are super grown out, so long. And these are my real nails. The Philippines is somewhere that I've always wanted to go to. Wow, my nails are really long. I can't believe it. I'm so strong. Like, look at that, you guys. Like, almost all the gel is off, and these nails are not going anywhere. And it's been a few weeks since I've done my real nails, and you can see, like, they're still in really good shape. Dust of everything. Push back the cuticle. And we're going to use the Russian manicure drill bits up. We're going to use a new one. But before that, let's shape my natural free edge. I take the 240 grit file at a zero degree angle. I think it's so cool that more and more men are starting to wear nail art. In Japan, I remember being there, and you see like a different, uh, what do you call it, aesthetic when it comes to nail art for men. It's usually just like on one or two fingers at the most. So it's kind of cool to see that kind of like starting to come to the U.S. now too. Even though I personally don't like nail art on myself, I would ne I wouldn't wear. Like color or like my nails black or anything like that. I don't know, it just, I think it's for me. Where is my Russian manager drop? It's, here it is, the new one. I'm gonna use a new one today. Max, do you have any product? The one I'm wearing right now, A Pink Gel. You can check it out on the website. We're going to use the red flame drill bit to begin to clean everything out. At a pretty low speed, I have my drill at number one right now. Because I'm pretty aggressive when it comes to cleaning everything out. Just because I want my product all the way to the back, because it makes your nail last a lot longer.
Hi from Montreal, bonjour. And then our two winners, Antonia and I can't remember what the other young lady that was that won yesterday. Your prizes went out today. Both of you guys love your little knickknacks. Can you guys see, like, look. This bit literally lifts everything up and just gives it a really beautiful, clean look. Lovely. Put her back inside, and then we're gonna go in with the little moon bit. And then we're going to buff the dry non-living tissue and go around the skin. So clean now. Make sure the nail's not wonky. This one, she's a little bit wonky. Lovely. Get your out of the way. And now we're going to use a purple buffer and I just like to buff the entire nail surface just to make it nice and even and smooth. And the free edge as well too. I was telling everybody on Instagram too because I did the other four on Instagram is that you never want to soak the nail prior to doing quote unquote a Russian manicure, even though they don't call it a Russian manicure, they call it a hardware manicure. Isn't that crazy? Like a lot of people that do lashes, they call them Russian volume. Over there they call them Hollywood volume lash. Hollywood volume lashes. And we call it Russian manicures, but they call it a hardware manicure. But prep is the most important thing when it comes to nails. You know, people say, my nails came off like after two days. Girl, you didn't prep right. Now we're going to go in with one nice coat of nail prep to dehydrate the nail bed and balance out the pH. Primer. But before you put the primer on the nail, you want to let that nail prep completely dry. Hi from New Zealand, Happy New Year! And just one light coat of primer. Hey Max, hi love, how's it going today? And I'm going to be using A Pink number one today. Just it's a really pretty lip glossy kind of color. Like a strawberry pink. Hi from Oregon! Vintage old lady, you are not an old lady, love. You look like a spring chicken, Debbie. What are you talking about? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for supporting American companies and American manufacturing. That's right, Miss Yvonne. Miss Yvonne. Not glue, but gel. And Donna, it's he. I am a man. My pronoun is he, not she. Omira is watching. Hello. Hey, Max. Hello. How old are you, Max? I will not answer that question. <laughs> Hi from Alaska! <gasps> Alaska, I want to visit the last frontier. That's one of my dreams. From Las Vegas. 66, no, I'm quite old. 
We're about the same age. So we're gonna do a nice thin coat of eight pink number one. And I'm gonna scrub it into my nail because I'm just gonna do one coat. I don't want my nail too pink. I just want it to look like it's a nice healthy shade of pink. Beautiful. Turn it upside down, let it self level out just for a few seconds. And then we're going to bake for 30 seconds and we're going to do two top coats because I like my nails quite thick and quite hard. So I do one coat of top, Dom top coat, which is our thick hard gel top coat, and then one coat of Wonder Dom. But look at it already, so pretty and glossy. So I'm going to bake that for 30 seconds. Let me look at the comments again. 30? Oh my gosh, that's so old. I'm from South Wales in the UK. DFW. Dallas, Fort Worth. Hi, Elsa. Happy New Year from the Netherlands. That's right, Mary. I'm actually, I feel older now, probably 102. You look so young, Max. Thank you. It is from Continued Maintenance. I actually, finally, there's a doctor here in Tucson that does uh, thread lifting, so I'm excited. I have an appointment on February 10th. So I can get my face pulled up like a marionette. So I'm going to be looking crazy for a few days. So now we're going to do one coat of Dom Top. So the secret or the trick when using Dom Top, because it is a thick, the thickest gel top coat that we make, and it is a hard gel top coat, is you want to apply it like you're frosting a cake. If you kind of apply it like regular gel top coat, you're going to get not the best result that you want. You want to like literally frost it on with absolutely no pressure. And then see the edges. And when you frost it on, look at that. Turn it upside down, let it soak a little out. When the, when the light is completely even on top of the surface, that means you have a beautiful surface structure. So I'm going to bake this for 30 seconds, and then we're going to seal with our second coat of gel. Florida! No, I need to do it. I'm in California. 25 sounds much better. And frankly, the pricing of the uh, thread lifting was, is pretty reasonable. But ugh, they need to put a lot of threads in your face. If, if they only do like four threads, it's not worth the pain. Because they giant, literally stick a giant cannula with like a fish hook in it and then pull your face up. All with just a Tylenol extra strength. So now we're gonna do our coat of Wonder Jones. from the side if there's any higher low spots. Turn the hand upside down. I'm gonna suck a little out before we cure. I wish I was 25 again. Me too. It's been a long time since I've been 25. I'm beautiful the way I am because I worry about my looks. Lovely. Let's bake it now for one minute. So I use two top coats. Um, I use Dom Top and Wonder Job. Yes, 
That is true. I grew up in the industry. So I've always been around nails and, and the beauty industry. And I got into manufacturing uh, and research and development, actually. I got into research and development around the age of 16, 17. And I was also at the same time I started competing uh, full circuit professionally. My first competition, I think, was 15. I've been in the nail industry a long time. What are you doing again? Um, uh, thread lifting, but that's not until February. I do want to get lipo on my thighs and my back and my stomach. I want to sit down and not have anything hang over my, my, my jeans and my pants. I want to sit down and have everything be nice and flat. That is one of my dreams. Uh, wouldn't that be nice? And skinny legs. Oh, I love skinny legs. I'm gonna do that another 30 seconds. I don't think my thumb was in there pro pro properly. If I had skinny legs, I would look tall. This stomach, yes. Even though I've had a tummy tuck, um, the skin quality is not very good after you have massive weight loss. And uh, I think my biggest was four, no, 544. And no, I'm not 5.44, so this game is not that great. Oh. It's just, uh, mm -hmm. just a little aping, just natural. This is how I wear my nails all the time. Well, almost all the time. Just really clean and manicured. Very sassy. And now we're gonna apply a little bit of cotton candy. Cuticle oil. To hydrate and replenish the moisture on the cuticle area, just like that. And then we are going to take a little mix. What line? Oh, these things. It smells so good, they smell so light. We didn't want it, well, I wanted to make them really, really sweet smelling. I wanted to make them smell like Baccarat Rouge, but uh, the consensus, consensus was to make them really soft and just, you have to like hold it to your nose to smell it. And we're just gonna remove any dust and dirt on the hand and on the nail. And these are great makeup removers too, or just at the end of the day, if you wanna freshen up and you know clean your face, great. And there's 120 pieces in here, so that's a lot. Bye bye. And there we go. Look at that, you guys. Nice, clean, fresh. They are not skinny. It's gonna make the tummy tuck obsolete. Bye. This is my stomach. Ooh. Well, let's suck it out. We'll get a tummy tuck. And the tummy tucks are not that painful, they're just very uncomfortable is the best word to describe it. Because for my whole recovery, when I had my tummy tuck, well both of them, I just took um, ibuprofen. I'd be fine with a big butt, like a Kim Kardashian body, body. Skinny, small, waist, flat stomach, and a big old butt. But look how shiny that is, you guys, so lovely. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's quick little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed how I like to manicure my nails and wear them, and you can offer this service in your salons if you do this, or if you just want to wear your nails nice and clean and shiny, now you know how I wear it sometimes, so that's going to wrap it up. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for supporting inocouture.com and supporting American companies, American manufacturing, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody. Try to stay out of trouble.